Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Flygon and how he does against the meta, the gods of Kingdom Cup. Number one will be against Lapras, number two will be against Lucario, and number three against Bastiodon. Uh, Flygon right now is number six on the list. It's, it recommends Mudshot, Dragon Claw, and Stone Edge. I highly recommend not using Stone Edge and going in with Earthquake. Uh, his key matchups are Bastiodon, Provo Pass, which hasn't been released yet, Melmetal, Steelix, and Meg Cargo. His top counters are Articuno, Regice, Walreen, Weavile, and Cloyster. Now, the reason why I like Flygon is because he's a, he's a really good generalist. If you actually, if you go into the battle screen, we're gonna put Flygon, and we're gonna go up against uh, Lapras. Now, for Kingdom Cup, Lapras should be having Water Gun, Ice Beam if you have it, hopefully you do, and Surf. First, we're gonna do it with No Shields. And as you can see here, because uh, La uh, Lapras has the Ice Beam, um, it will one-shot the, the Flygon, but look how much damage that Earthquake did to that Lapras. He's le Lapras is literally left with 38 HP, which now allows you to bring in your Lucario, put a couple counters in, and finish off that Lapras. If you go with one shield each, now he's, even, he's left with even less health. But now, if you can see here, you're pulling off a Dragon Claw, and he's shielding, <clears throat> then you're, he's pulling off a Surf, and then you're shielding. Again, it's all situational, right? But then you try to pull off the Earthquake, and then he tries to pull off another Surf, and then that's where we'll end your Flygon, which again, now you're allowed to bring in your Lucario, finish off the Lapras, and already have a power-up punch for the next uh, Pokemon. If you go two Shields, You actually beat Lapras with about two HP. And again, it varies due to IV. But I'm just trying to show you that even with Lapras, which has a ice move, right? You still put up a huge fight against him. The next Pokemon we're gonna put him up against is gonna be our Lucario. Lucario, you're gonna to wanna to use Counter, Power Up Punch, and Shadow Ball. Again, we're gonna start off with no shields. And we're going to run the simulation. You actually end up tying. Whoever gets that last charge move off, basically, will uh, end up finishing him off. It's, uh, I think it's based on the, the fast move. You guys both go down at the same time. Uh, now with one shield. Lucario is left with 13 HP. And uh, that finishes off your Flygon, but again, puts up such a big fight. And then we're gonna go up against two shields. Again, uh, Lucario ends up winning. So it ends up being a, if he doesn't shield, right? Uh, you end up getting an even match. If he does shield, then it's pretty much that Lucario is going to take the win. But again, he puts up a huge fight against the, the Lucario. For the Lucario to stay alive, he's going to have to put those shields up. And that's, again, as a generalist, that's all you want. You want it to be able to counter as many Pokemon from the meta as possible. Next on the list is going to be Bastiodon. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. So he's gonna have Smackdown, Flamethrower, and Stone Edge. And we're gonna go No Shields. And Flygon just decimates him with the uh, the that Earthquake. For such a beefy Mon, for him to go down so fast is it's huge. You definitely want Flygon to be a part of your six. In my opinion, I'm I'm probably gonna have him in my final six. Nothing's finalized until the meta gets uh, formed. But again, I, from what I see here. Flygon is going to be one of the top Pokemon to have in your team. So now as you can see here with one shield each, 
Um, you pull off a Dragon Claw, he shields. He pulls off a Stone Edge, you shield. And then you pull off the Earthquake, and that is GG. Now we go two shields. <laughs> and again, you beat him. You, you We both use two shields each, and that just takes him out completely. Now let's try something else, actually. Let's go no shields, two shields. So, wow. Against Bastiodon, if he shields twice against your two Dragon Claws, and then you pull off an Earthquake, you still win. But now let's just see something else. Let's take out Dragon Claw. Let's see what happens if it's just Earthquake. So, with that... Him and him shielding twice, and you only using Earthquake, which of course you're not going to do. You're going to try to bait him out with the Dragon Claws, right? You leave him with 50 HP. Now let's just use one shield against Bassiodon. Right? You still win. You're left with one HP, right? And you only have the Earthquake here. You you want to use the Dragon Claw just to kind of bait shields and put as much damage in as you can, right? You're always going to win against Bassiodon with uh again with Flygon. If you can see here, you win every match. It doesn't matter if he shields, you shield, he, you don't shield, and whatnot, right? You always win the match. Now I'm going to show you guys some battles between Flygon and some of these God Tier Kingdom Cup Pokemon. First, we're going to be doing Flygon against Lapras. Uh, Lapras with Ice Beam would uh, definitely be the best matchup to go up against the, the Flygon. Um, just because he is part dragon. Now, with Flygon, you're going to try to bait as many shields as you can, but the main move that you will be trying to pull off will be Earthquake. My main focus here is not to say that Flygon is the god tier Pokemon. It's just that he's very good to go up against a lot of the main uh, meta Pokemon from the Kingdom Cup. Like He can go up against uh, Lucario, he can go up against Lapras, he, can go up, he ruins Bastiodon. Um... And he does pretty well against the other cups as well. The only thing you have to be careful for is the ice type Pokemon. Now we're going to be going Flygon against Lucario. Uh, Lucario, it's a tough match. Honestly, like you have to be able, you have to pull off an earthquake, and uh, for Lucario to not shield. If Lucario does not shield, he will go down. If he shields once, you your Flygon's going to lose no matter what you do. Here we go. Now we did shield. Um, now we're going in trying to get the Dragon Claw. Honestly, what we're trying to do right now is try and bait as many shields as we can and uh, try to put as much damage as we can if he doesn't shield. So there we go. The Lucario is in the red, right? Same way we got the Lapras in the red. And now he's going to hit us with the Power Punch. We should probably should not have shielded there, uh, but it's okay, right? We did put as much damage as we can uh, for our next Pokemon to come in. And now it's going to be... Uh, Flygon against Bastiodon. Hitting with Mud Bomb. Sorry, Mud Shot, Mud Shot. And then we go for the Dragon Claw. We're trying to bait the shields right now. Uh, we don't want to try to put those high energy gain <coughs> uh, moves of uh, Earthquake going in. Because that would just be a lot of wasted damage on our Flygon. So we're just going to try to bait the shields. See what we can do. Right, yep, there goes the second shield. And now we're going to go... <laughs> Full fledged. We do, we are, we shield here just because we don't want. Uh, oh no, sorry, we don't shield here. Um, and now, well, he has no shields. Uh, we have two shields, and now we're going all in for the uh, the earthquake. We will be getting the earthquake off before he gets the stone edge off. The earthquake goes off, and that is the end of. Now the second matchup, where we're actually going to show you guys uh, Flygon going up against Bastiodon again. Uh, we're doing it a little bit of a different way. Um, we're going to go and try to charge up all the way to Earthquake. Try to bait the shield and hit it with Dragon Claw. Try to hopefully break that first shield. Um, there we go. Yep, there we go. The first shield is down. And now we're just charging all the way up back to Earthquake. He does get the Stone Edge off and we do shield. Uh, just because we want our Flygon still in this match. Um, and then we're going to hit it with the Earthquake. And that should be the end of the Bastiodon. Thinking that... It is a Dragon Claw that's coming his way. But in reality, that Earthquake just ruins Bastiodon. Now we're going to do a couple of battles with the rest of the top 10 list uh, that PV Poke has provided for us. Um, see exactly how Flygon does against the rest of this list. 
When we get Celio, remember Celio is uh, one of Flygon's uh, main counters just because he is dragon um, and ground. So Celio with water and uh, Celio also with ice would put a lot of damage into that Flygon. So we go here, we actually shield. Getting hit with the Bi-Slam. If I remember correctly, this was a terrible match. Uh, we're going in for the Earthquake. Um, and we actually don't shield the Body Slam. And it probably, uh, we were thinking that was Aurora Beam, but that Body Slam just ruined us. And now we're going to do Flygon against a Walreen. Well, it should be around the same thing as Celio. Um, if maybe even worse. Um, we're going off, we're going off. And we saw how much damage that was. We we're going for the earthquake. And we we're like, no, 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 no. Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw. Um, we are uh, we got to do as much damage as we can. Normally, in a regular match, you would be switching out. But again, we just want to see how Flygon does against every matchup. Now, this is something you're probably going to see a lot. Just like every other cup, uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of mirror match. This is Flygon against Flygon. And this was actually a very interesting match. Um, we're just hitting each other with Mudshot. Uh, he gets his Dragon Claw off first. We shield because again that it will be a very very big move uh now we're going to be hitting him with the dragon claw and again he's going to also shield just because we know it would take a huge chunk out of us um again now we actually get the dragon claw off first uh which actually surprised me a little bit but it's okay we did get it off first um he shields and now he's going to hit us with the dragon claw but now, we, as you can see, our Dragon Claw was already almost charged up again. So we, here we go. We're going to shield again. Remember, it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. See how it, how Flygon can actually go up against the top 10 meta. So now we hit him because he had no more shields. And now he's going to hit us with the Dragon Claw. And we're going to be left with such a little amount of health that we thought we were about to be dead. And then there, we hit him with another one, two mud shots. And that is it. Now... Going again now is Flygon against Steelix. Uh, this is an interesting matchup. Uh, Dragon Claw doesn't do too much. Um, Earthquake does amazing <laughs> against Steelix. Um, so now we're gonna start charging our, our thing. We're gonna um, sorry our moves, and now we're gonna shield because we don't want to get hit by the Crunch. We have to, the Crunch doesn't do too much, but it's okay. We want our Flygon in this match. Uh, now we're going to go for the Earthquake. I think he thought I was going to go Dragon Claw and try to bait him. Uh, but we go for the Earthquake. And that is the end of Steelix. <clears throat> now it's going to be Flygon against Marowak, the Alolan Marowak. Uh, the Alolan Marowak has um, Rock Smash, um, Bone Club, and Shadow Ball. All right. Now he's gonna. We're gonna shield because we do not want to get hit by that shadow ball. That would do a lot of neutral damage. Um, and now we're gonna go in for the earthquake. Hopefully he doesn't shield. There you go. There's the shield. He saw it coming. Um, and he his shields are down. And we're going in for the earthquake now. We get it off right before our our flygon goes down. A little Mirawak again is another another amazing option. Uh, I'm going to do another video on him uh, on a further day. He will probably be my next video. And last but not least, this is going to be Flygon against Melmetal. Uh, we are uh, super effective against him. Just because of uh, ground being super effective to steal. He's going to hit us with Rock Slide. Rock Slide does it eh, a little bit. It's not too much. Uh, but now we're going in for the Earthquake. And hopefully he doesn't shield. Yeah, he shields. Of course he shields. Uh, he's left with one last shield. And we're like, ah, eh, you know what? We want our flag on to stay alive. So let's not put a... Let's try to keep as much damage away from him. We're going to go in for the Dragon Claw. So that way we can try to bait that last second shield. And nope, he saw it coming. He saw it coming. Um, and now we're just going to go in. We're charging. He's going to try this with a Rock Slide. And uh, we do not shield just because we knew we were going to stay alive for this. Go all the way to Earthquake. We hit him with Dragon Claw just to hoping that we can uh, bait that last shield. And again, we do have any have more shields just in case we think. But he doesn't shield and that is the end of the Melmetal. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys on the next one.